this is a little wrap up for what we've done with this project so far. This was kind of one of the projects that we'd ended with. We have the A project, which is, you know, some portion of this is open underneath. And we have the B project where it's open all the way across. So I wanted to return to that and redesign the floor system and see what actually could happen. If you recall, this is the plan that required this special beam at this end and I priced that. It is available locally. I priced that it's $105 a foot, which would be almost $1,600 for a beam on this in this side. One of the things I did is return to the beam sizing program I used and I just never imagined that they had 2x14s as solutions and when I use 2x14s for these margin beams in replacement of those expensive $105 a foot members I get it to pass with four of these number two 2x14s two and those, I, those are available apparently at Menards uh, for that cost so with that in mind I went back to the, the open plan Plan B, which is the open one. Plan A is the partial closed. And redesigned that floor system to see if it would be at least uh, competitive with the closed one. Uh, but before we get to what that ended up consisting of, this, there's a few different things. I made some changes here that could apply to the partial closed as well. For one thing, on this, partial, on this whole open, I, I moved that column back. We're going to go for that same margin, 4, 2 by 14, number 2, Southern Pine, on both this side and that side. So we got rid of that column and pushed it back uh, to the corner here. And then I think you could just bring in earth, unless I'm mistaken, unless the program's mistaken. I just brought in some earth to get this to be working out up here and slope down to here. I don't know if you're going to need something at the corner. To hold that in but this can all be developed as you build now this if we're using 14 inch joists or 14 inch yeah, beams here then that um, fascia if you use that white band fascia here that would have to increase to 14 or so as well which means you, you might be able to push this slab further a little bit further down into the grade but in any case this is based right now it was based on seven foot from this floor to the bottom of those joists which means it's going to be about six foot ten where you step off which is still the height of uh, a door regulation height is 80 inches um, uh, up here I don't know if you'll need a little retention here or not but I like this open plan personally so the last thing I did uh, with regard to this See, I don't know if you're going to need that or not. And I think also, if you look right here, this I think these piers, when we get down to here, we will just, these will be ground contact uh, lumber, and we will just put our foundations, our footings, down in the ground, and then have those go down in the ground and backfill with gravel so that we don't have this sort of a situation here that that's just eliminated. If this under deck stuff here is put on this this closure here, there will have to be some framing between these columns to hold the bottom of that. Then I finish this up. You'll see this uh, fascia get a couple inches bigger. I also did what I could with this grade here just to make sure it was all going to work out, and it looked to me like it was. These are nice seven and a half inch risers here, so nothing steep. And I don't know if you want to continue this same closure returning there seems like that would make sense it's, that's kind of short anyway but that is I just wanted to bring that along I'm pleased with uh, with that and you'll have to make the decision on open or partial and don't forget the decision here I like this one so I was showing it finally I wanted to compare the costs to these two particularly since Menards was saying this material was available and so I counted the material for both of these projects, A, which was the partial open, and B, which was the full open. And there's the del Delta, about $1,500 or so. So updating that, yeah, the difference is about $1,500 between the two projects. Um, a, partial closed, 
and your builder can look at this and maybe advise you. And B. Note that for project A, the partial closed, you can run these two by eight single single member two by eights all the way across the whole thing if they are number one southern alpine at 16 inches on center. If you can only get number two southern alpine, then these have to be at 12 inches on center. And in project B, because of the big span, you can see these are doubled two by twelves. These are the 14 inch side members, but these are doubled two by twelve all the way under that whole first part, picking up that hot tub load. And these even are singles, and those are all at 12 inches on center. I will say that 16 inches on center will pass, but the deflection is about another 3 eighths of an inch. And you, for whatever reason, that the addition back there was designed with the heavier than normal floor loading. So I just opted to say that we put them at 12 inches on center. So that's A and B, and you saw the comparison, and now you could decide. So thank you very much.